No, I'm, no, I'm not. We're going to talk about fasting here a little bit because, and I have not been talking about it, but it is one of the things that are very important. Um, and it's our health. This is saying that they were doing it in a wrong way, but if, um, but I want to talk about fasting because it's one of the best things that you can do. Um, they were using it wickedly. Okay. So, but fasting when you do it right and for the right reasons is a key factor to healing. And we're going to talk about some of that right now. And I will also give this to you, this little sheet that I put together if any of you guys want it. Um, but let me tell you a little bit about what fasting does for you. Okay. Um, and you know, it, you, there's different ways to do it. You can do it intermittent. You can do it for a day, two days, you know, three days. You can go for a week. You won't die. I have not done that. I've been only able to go two days. I've, been, I've gone a little bit over 48 hours. And because I think I might die, <laughs> no, not really, but I like to eat. So um, I've not gone past the 48 hours, um, but I sh you should really try to at least get to three days. And I will tell you why you should put, make at least intermittent fasting a part of your lifestyle. So when you get to 13 to 15 hours, okay, say, Say, and I had it written out, and I don't know where, where I did that at. Did I make that note here? Okay, intermittent fasting is basically uh, the word breakfast means break fast, uh, right? So whenever you break your fast, that's your first meal. That can be breakfast, okay? Um, so basically what I do and I intermittent fast most of the time, is I don't eat breakfast. I get to about 11, 11.30, and I'll eat then. And then I'll, you know, my evening meal is going to be around 5.30. And so I go about 17 to 18 hours every day not eating. That's called intermittent fasting. Um, so I, for one, I've dropped one meal. And two, I have a, what is that? That's about a seven hour window of eating. And, and that's where I'm at, okay? And again, everybody can be a little bit different, but that's what IF is called, intermittent fasting, that the short window of eating, shorter window of eating. Um, so when you get to a 13 to 15 hours of fasting, your human growth hormone, starts to increase. Um, it can, by the 48 hours, it, it can increase by 500%. And what HGH does is it increases fat burning. It slows down aging. It helps you to build muscle if you are doing uh, muscle building, which you do, it's the, you should do. It's the fastest way to burn fat and to increase your um, metabolism. And also within this, uh, this period of 13 to 15 hours is where you start to switch from burning stored sugar to fat, okay? At 17 hours, uh, you start having what's called autophagy. And autophagy is um, where you start to clean out the cell trash, basically, okay? So you're doing cellular detox and repair. Um, you're cleaning out those damaged cells and re, you're regenerating new ones. So what this does is helping to, you're improving your immune system and also um, is helping you to, to not, uh, keeping you from not getting cancer because you're repairing those damaged cells. And um, also this is really good if you do have cancer, if you can at least once a month go three days without reading, which I'm gonna to get to, but go three days without eating, it resets your immune system. So it's great for those people who do have cancer to, to try to incorporate that in their healing. Uh, at 24 hours, a lot happens at the 24 hour period. Stem cell regeneration in the gut, you start uh, generating new cells. Um, BDNF increases, which is brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which is healing your brain. 
So it is um, repairing and growing new dendrites and neurons. So you're actually improving the health of your brain. Um, it also increases GABA and serotonin uh, production when you get to this 24 hour period. So your anxiety starts to decrease, your depression starts to decrease, um, you know, your feel good serotonin levels go up. So you're feeling better now. Um, and your brain is starting to work a little better as well. Your blood pressure goes down and your CRP, which is your uh, C reactive protein goes down, which causes the higher that is, the more inflamed you are. So your inflammatory responses have gone down and your immune system has become strengthened at this point. So 24 hours is a really key, uh, uh, key to get to. When you get from 36 hours to 48 hours, you have ramped up fat burning at this point in time, uh, ramped up GABA and BDNF production. So bye-bye brain fog, okay? And hello, mental clarity. Your brain is clicking now, okay? Because you have cleared out um, those damage. You're starting to clear out those damaged cells and creating those new neurons. And you're reducing even more your anxiety and your depression. Um, also increased anti-aging benefits due to the decreased inflammation. Um, so fasting is really good for anti-aging. 72 hours peak autophagy. Okay. This is where you have done the, um, where you have really cleaned out the damaged cells and cleaned out all the, the cell toxins and you have grown those new cells. And that's what I was talking about at the 72 hours period. You know, it's really great for those people who, again, cancer, because you have, you have fixed, helped to heal all those damaged cells and get rid of the damaged cells. Um, stem cell production has really increased as well as the muscular, musculoskeletal and immune cell stem, stem cells production. So creating those new stem cells. Um, and accelerated healing of chronic conditions. Because at this time, like I said, 72 hour window, you have basically reset your immune system um, and restores your immune system. And then maximum healing, if you're just really uh, out there four to five days. And I know people who will do that every three to six months. Like I said, I've only managed two days. Uh, basically, I, I stick to the IF. Every once in a while, I'll go an entire day and then try to do sometimes to get to that two-day uh, two period, not push it to the three-day period, which I really should do. So I know that seemed odd to throw that in there, but fasting is one of the best ways to heal yourself. Um, and just starting with just starting with IF. Now, one thing I would say, and when I jumped into this, especially when I did the first 24 hours, you know, and then I ate and I just ate, it wasn't, I had China, I know that's when I did 48 hours. I had China, because we had a birthday dinner for my son and I had Chinese. Oh my gosh, I was, I was not feeling well the next day. It just trashed me because you have done this wonderfulness for your body. And then all of those things that you had just detoxed yourself of, you just, you put it in this, this, this clean slate and it just, so you have to really, you know, have a really clean meal when you, when you go into your first meal after a longer fast. And I'm talking that 24 to 48 hour period so that you don't make yourself sick because you can make yourself sick because like I said, you're throwing those toxins onto a clean slate and your body's like, whoa, you know, so it doesn't tolerate it. Um, so warriors need to be healthy and the less food you put into your mouth, and the right foods, the right nutrition that you are taking in, the better you are going to show up as a, as, as a leader because you're taking care of yourself first. It's essential. If anybody wants this, I'll be I'll probably, actually, I'll probably put it into the group as well. Um, but I, got, I hope you guys found that helpful. Any, any questions on that? Wow, I am just, it's confirmation 
because I was just telling my um, daughter today, well, actually I told her last night the grandbabies came over and you know we went for a walk and yada yada. But I'm like, you know, um, Gigi, and she's the one that came on here last week. I'm like, we really need to do um, intermediate fasting. I think that's the only way that we're gonna get a grip on our weight, metabolism, and all a bunch of the other things that you just mentioned. So um, it's confirmation. So thank you. Complete confirmation. Like I'm just sending her message, like, you're not gonna believe what we're talking about. And <laughs> so now it's like, okay, God, obviously it was the Holy Spirit guided me in this. Oh, well, thank you. And that is you've reminded me another thing is when you go 24 hours, um, just 24 hours, and then the weird thing is, is you feel those effects for at least three days. Um, you feel better. You can feel it kicks your metabolism. And I didn't put that in there. It kicks your metabolism up when you go that 24 hour period. Um, and you can just feel your metabolism revved for like about three days. It goes two to three days when you can just feel that increased um, and you just feel better for about that two to three day period, uh, just with one 24 hour fast. Um, so yes, that it, it just really ramps that up. 